Hey, welcome back to Raywood Acres. So, unfortunately, we're not going to be doing any airborne uh, relay testing of our, our mestastic node that, or flora node that we're trying to kind of prove out that whole concept. And for, you know, for like field deployments, covering, you know, uh, an area either on a schedule or just for a, you know, a 20 to 30 minute time period uh, that you could could you could use in in multiple different use cases uh use your imagination um but i've had some issues so we need to take a step back right we, other than whether or not be able to fly the drone and you know torrential downpour um <clears throat> the the antenna that i chose i don't think is sufficient i think it's pretty you know there's no gain to it I'll do some testing on that, but what I want to do is make sure that I'm getting, I have all my devices configured correctly, so I'm capturing the test prior to leaving my home and driving somewhere to launch the drone and try to, you know, try to do the test. Um, so I'm going to just do it ground based, right? So I've I've got an external uh, uh, antenna here on my Jeep. I'll hook up one of my lower devices in the Jeep. Get everything configured with the devices I'm going to be using when I do the airborne testing, and just make sure that it's working. You know, go drive out and and do the range testing. Make sure that it's logging correctly because that's the thing I've been having a problem with is not logging correctly. The last time I tried to use a web client, and that didn't seem to work. Uh, I did get a an old Samsung tablet updated and working, uh, so that should help me adding in an Android device that I I just felt like the web client wasn't wasn't staying connected to the um, T-beam that was at the house. So I don't think it captured what it, what I was looking to capture for the, the logs. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, boring stuff, right? But, but uh, the, so one other thing we're gonna do kind of in the interim is uh, I'm gonna put an antenna up in one of the trees while that's pending, uh, I'm waiting on some coaxial cable to show up, some low loss stuff from uh, Rockland Technologies and uh, that antenna is going to be up in a, a tree and just be about 50 to 60 feet off the ground that's going to be a great uh, a, you know range extender for us right with a, um, a high gain antenna um, so yeah I'll show that and then we're, we're working on we've got two new devices like I mentioned last week the T-Deck and the uh, T-Beam Supreme or actually not last week the other day um when um but yeah um printed the cases for those and uh waiting on some hardware batteries that type thing get everything all set up and i'll i'll, I'll demonstrate those and show you as i play around with them uh, i like the t-deck option because you know we're talking logging and having an extra uh android device or apple device or whatever to connect to to operate the system well the, the t decks don't require that so they're kind of standalone that's kind of cool um so yeah we'll see where that turns out it might be a novelty but they seem pretty cool <laughs> okay so i don't know what happened to the end of their video uh so we'll wrap this up here back at home um up here on the hill where i've got my solar node set up this node's actually going to go, as I was talking about, it's going to, the antenna is going to go up towards the top there. Uh, and then I plan on having the enclosure down here closer where it's easier access for maintenance and whatnot. Cause, um, I'm not going to have it connected to solar until I kind of test everything out. Then I'll put something potentially a little more permanent there. Uh, a larger panel probably is what I'm looking at. Something a little bigger, maybe, a. a I've got some 30 watt panels and I got a couple of 50 watt panels, probably excessive for a 50 watt. So I think a 30 would probably work better. I'm gonna have to reduce the, the obviously the input power down and adapt all that. So that's that's future projects. There's a lot of that going on here. Uh, what we're really looking forward to is is growing the whole mesh-tastic uh, mesh communications using LoRa protocol. Uh, world and there's lots of us here on YouTube or quite a few of us here that are uh, creating great content uh, but one way we can all kind of collaborate in one location is uh, I'm gonna put a link to the telegram group I just created uh, a couple days ago it's just me and one other individual right now uh, but it's a good place to share ideas collaborate with other create smaller groups 
uh, within maybe your local community so you can create a larger mesh network, that type of thing. So uh, you're interested, check that out. Check out our website, theravenwoodacres.com. You can follow us via our social media links, which are down below. Stay tuned for more great videos.